This new feature 2024 tutorial video will teach you how to use the vehicle animation path. Before, you would have to animate the movement of vehicle on each keyframe, especially when it's making a turn. Now you can save much more time since Fuser will do the animation for you by creating a path. The first objective of this video is to animate a concrete pump entering a construction site. Second is to animate it to set up and pour the concrete and third is to animate it to exit the construction site. For the first objective, let's animate the concrete pump to enter the site. So go to More Options, search for Paths, then select Vehicle Animations. Click Create Path, then left mouse click on the starting point, then click for every node where the vehicle will turn. Then after the last node, press escape when you're done. Now next step is to go to content library. Search for concrete pump. Click on the thumbnail. To rotate the concrete pump, hold shift then move your mouse. Left mouse click to place on the path. Then press escape. In 2024, you can now click join path. Pick a destination path node. So we want the concrete pump to go here, so click the blue pin. You can disable toggle animation helper. Now notice that it will do the animation for you. Double click to change the duration, for example, 4 seconds. Then play the animation to check. Notice that there's a much smoother turn. The second objective is to animate the concrete pump to set up and pour the concrete. Click the concrete pump, and in 2024, we now have pre-animated sequences. So first, click Extend Legs, and you will see that the new keyframes will be added, and it will animate for you. Next is Extend Arm. However, notice that it's on the other side. We want it to face here. So after arm 2, insert a keyframe, then rotate the road. To be exact, double click to change the value to 180 degrees. So then for the next arms, let's also change it to 180. Next, we want to lower down the arms. So add a new keyframe, click this arm, then rotate it downwards. Then we want to animate the pour concrete, so move from left to right. Add a new keyframe, then click the road. Move it to the left. Add a new keyframe, then move it to the right. Third objective is to animate the concrete pump leaving the site. So now click retract arm. For this keyframe, click the road. Then change it to 180 degrees as well. Then change for the other arms. After arm 4, insert a keyframe. Then let's rotate the road. Change it to 0 degrees to turn to the other side. And for the other arms, Remain it at 0 degrees. Lastly, click Retract Legs. Next step, we want the concrete pump to move backwards. So click the blue pin, click Add Child Node, then click here, left mouse click, and press Escape. Now click the concrete pump, click join path, and click this blue pin which is the destination node. Now it will go backwards. Next, double click to change the duration to 2 seconds. Next, we want the concrete pump to move this way, going outside. Click this blue pin. Add child node, 
Click for every node. Then press Escape. So click the concrete pump. Click Join Path. Then since this is the destination path, click this node. So change one keyframe to 4 seconds. And it will look like this. Now here is the result when you play the animation from the beginning. Thank you for watching the video.